how to change a photo's background colour. First, open up GIMP2. If you do not have this program installed, the link will be in the description. Next, you have to go to File, Open. We're going to open up a picture that you want to change the background of now. So select your picture and click Open. That will bring up your picture. Next, you want to go to Layers, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. And then you go to that pink rubbery like thing, don't know what it's called. And then basically we just colour in a whole background that we don't want basically. So you can change the size of the brush at the bottom there. You can zoom in by holding down control and using your mouse scroll. If you do not have a mouse scroll, you can hold down control and use the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard. That was nothing there, I just accidentally clicked on it. Go through it quickly now. Okay, now just do the finishing touches. You can zoom in further, make the brush smaller, make it look really nice. I'm not going to do it today because I'm just going to do it quickly, but you can at home if you want. But if you move the editing box out of the way, you'll probably find that you've missed some, so you can just go over that. And when you zoom out, if you go into the move tool, which looks like arrows, and you can move it around. Now we need to open up our background that we can put it on, so we go to file open and select the background and click open so I open up on a new window so just minimize that we need to copy this now so go to right click file copy and then paste it so right click file paste an easy way to do that is control C and control V C for copy V for paste and click move it and then click away to confirm and there you go you can save it now, so go to file, save as, pick where you want to save it, and click the plus thing at the bottom, the extension, and we're going to find one of the JPEG, that's what we're going to be using, JPEG file, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use JPEG, click it, and click save, click export, and make sure that's go to 100, you can keep it 85 if you want, but I'd put it to 100, and click save, next I'll show you that it's on my computer. Uh, I go to my D drive where I saved it and I open up the picture which is in JPEG format there you go easy thanks for watching please leave comments and ratings